Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us. And thank you for tuning in to learn about our beautiful Onda Student Center. Ondas, or the OSC, is an academic resource center that supports the first-generation college student experience. It is located at UCSB Kerr Hall 1150. The mission of the Ondas Student Center at UCSB is to promote the success and retention of first-generation college students with an emphasis on the first-year transition and underrepresented student experience. We provide mentoring and academic support in a learning-centered space for students to connect with faculty, staff, and peers in order to grow personally and excel academically. Founded in 2016 as a Title V center under the Higher Education Act, we are housed within the Office of Teaching and Learning with the Transfer Student Center and Citral, which was formerly, we were formerly housed under the Office of Undergraduate Education. We support students and we're a resource to students, whether they identify as first generation students or not. Part of our team consists of the peer mentors who are the undergraduate student staff, and they are integral to the functioning of the center. Eric, Miranda, Vidi, Diana, and Nancy are all outgoing, aka graduating peer mentors. Eric and Miranda served as our lead peers this past year, but they are training Delene and Echo to become the new lead peers for the upcoming spring. Steph and Edgar will be continuing into the next academic year. We will have four new incoming peer mentors who are currently in the process of being hired. And just a note, the Onda Student Center hires peer mentors in the winter of each year. Next are career staff. So there are four career staff members who all identify as first generation college graduates and professionals. We're open to talking about the first gen experience navigating higher education, graduate school, whether that's applying, what to consider when applying or when accepting a graduate school offer, the graduate student experience, student affairs, higher education, more. Our career staff members are all available to you as a resource. You may meet with any of our staff members through mentoring hours or in Araceli's case as a graduate student mentor through her grad school guidance pop-in. Malapan Fomasa is our assistant dean and was actually the founding director of the Transfer Student Center. Malapan oversees both the Transfer Student Center and the Onda Student Center. Denise Diaz is our associate director who began in 2020 as a student activities coordinator. And myself, my name is Sofia Snapdagian. I am currently the program's assistant, but I joined Ondas in 2020 as well. And I began as a graduate student mentor. I am currently a full-time career staff member as well as a full-time master's student in education. And Araceli Garcia Gonzalez is a graduate student mentor. She has her master's and currently is a PhD candidate in Chicano Chicana studies. Now a bit more about our peer mentors. Who are they and what do they do? Our peer mentors provide mentoring to students regarding various aspects of university life whether that's academic, social, financial, well-being, career, and graduate school preparation, and more. They assist students with course-related questions. Although they do not tutor, they guide and mentor and provide advice from their own experience. If you do need tutoring, CLAS offers amazing resources for that. Another part of the peer mentor role is administrative tasks. So they are the face that you first see when you enter the Onda Student Center. So they greet and welcome visitors and they staff the front desk. And one of the biggest parts of their role is programming. So peer mentors assist and develop and lead programs, meaning workshops, socials, activities for first-generation students and the UCSB community. They support in marketing efforts, they design, print, and distribute marketing materials, and they lead and are the reason why we have our TikTok, our developing podcast, our Twitter, and our Instagram. So talking about our peer mentors, they do lead mentoring moments as part of their mentorship role. Mentoring moments are mentorship hours for four first-gen students, five first-gen students. Now, through these mentoring moments, you can expect to receive advice, guidance, support in courses and the general um, student experience at UCSB as first gen. If you are interested in visiting our peer mentors for their mentoring moments or just to ask them questions or just to get connected with them, you can always find our calendars on our website and on our Instagram as well. We will always have our flyers, for example, with Delina's flyer with her winter 2022 mentoring moments. She has her hours of when she's available for drop in and what you can talk to Delina about. 
programming. So programming is typically focused on community building, academic, social, financial, well-being, graduate school, and career readiness. Some examples of workshops and events peer mentors have developed are below, such as FAFSA Dream Act workshop. That's something that Miranda was passionate about hosting and connected with the Office of Financial Aid and Scholarships to lead. How to do research for your essays and how to read and use scholarly articles is a workshop that Echo was really passionate about hosting and hosted it twice in the past quarter. To repeat or to not repeat is a program led by our past peer mentor, Lori, who had collaborated with our in-center academic advisor, Jack Rivas, to lead. And Mini Canvas Painting is part of our Study and Self-Care Week events. Study and Self-Care Week is during week 10 where we focus on studying and preparing for finals, as well as emphasizing the equal importance of self-care. And that was a collaboration event with the Transfer Student Center and the Onda Student Center. We do host a lot of cross-campus collaborations. We collaborate with departments and organizations across campus to hold a variety of different programs, events, and workshops, such as the Transfer Student Center, which we collaborate very, very frequently. Fuerte, Career Services, Successful Student Transitions, EOP, Health and Wellness, Office of Financial Aid, Educational Abroad Program, the Library, IRCA, the Food Bank, and much more. Some examples of events that we have hosted or are planning to host is Conchas with Ondas and Fuerte, which will be part of our Prepare and Self-Care Week, where we will focus on preparing for midterms and for career preparation as well and how to apply to grad school for transfers and first-gen students, which was hosted by, the, by a transfer student center peer educator, which is similar to our peer mentors and myself as the graduate student mentor, as I firmly was. So the idea of the workshop to share about Darwin's experience applying to graduate school and my experience having already applied to graduate school and different things that we wish we would have known beforehand. About the study space. So in the center, you can find a quiet study space, computers and TV screens that also function as computers, which are free for student use, whiteboards, a textbook library, which is currently in the process of expanding by the end of this academic year, free snacks and fresh fruit provided weekly by UCSB Basic Needs, information on upcoming workshops and free testing materials, blue books, scantrons, pens, pencils, etc., as well as peer mentors and peer staff mentoring in-center LNS academic advising, drop-in office hours with campus partners and graduate school mentorship. We will expand on academic advising and graduate school mentorship next. In-center advisor. So Jack Rivas is our in-center advisor. He has more than 50 years of experience at UCSB and Jack is available to answer questions about all things UCSB. He's available typically two days a week on a drop-in basis in the OSC and guides you through questions such as, what courses should I take to graduate? How can I drop this class? What should I do about this class because of blank? Because of there's many different reasons that um, we may need advice. Jack is first gen and he can provide a lot of great perspective. Graduate school guidance. So if you have any questions about graduate school from a first gen perspective and you don't know where to start, we highly recommend meeting with our graduate student mentors. Nate and Janine are available through STEM student guidance. They are both PhD students in different STEM fields. Nate is a PhD student in material sciences. Janine is a PhD candidate in ecology, evolution, and marine biology. They are available to talk about all things STEM, all things graduate school, all things career preparation. They have a wide variety of knowledge in internships, in GAP, aka growth years, in, in industry knowledge and different things that you should consider when thinking about a degree in the STEM field. They're available on a drop-in basis once a week. Araceli, who is our graduate student mentor, is available in the center and hosts grad school guidance pop-in where you're able to talk to Araceli about anything graduate school, whether again, if it's applying, the student experience, funding. Araceli is really, really knowledgeable with funding graduate school and letters of recommendation, et cetera. Araceli hosts graduate school workshops and programming as well. Araceli joined us this January, so she's new to the center. 
but she does plan to return and be with us the next academic year as well. Now, before we wrap up, I'd like to highlight the UCSB First Gen website. UCSB is committed to supporting celebrating first generation college students by helping them recognize these strengths, um, the different strengths that they bring and providing them us with additional tools to thrive academically, socially, personally, and professionally. This website has been a collaborative effort with many different departments. Our associate dean Malapon led the efforts to create this website. Here you can find information on first-gen initiatives at UCSB, including different departments, things you should know for undergrads, graduate students, and even resources for educators and our families and communities. Additionally, you can find information on TriAlpha, the new first-gen National Honor Society that was established this year at UCSB, which I definitely encourage you to take a look. If you have any questions, any questions at all, feel free to email us at onlus at ltsc.ucsb.edu or check out our website, www.ondas.ucsb. We are active on social media, especially Instagram. Instagram is where you can find all of our upcoming events and learn more on everything our center has to offer. And if you are interested in joining our newsletter, we do have a QR code below, which can also be found on our website. Oh, and before we end this presentation, I would like to um, reiterate that our center is in the process of developing a podcast. It's been a lengthy team effort, but it's been fun and exciting all the same. You can expect to see it on our Spotify sometime this year.